so babe let me ask you I, and i need you to help as parents mm. because yes i'm a school owner but i'm also a parent yes unfortunately my kids don't go to my school because, because they, they are that older <laughs> 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 so my kids are what in p4 yes. and p3 right yes. but help us as parents mm. help us as parents to help our kids help us as parents how how should we appreciate the school fees that we are charged yeah. and not grumble and not complain because anyway at the end of the day when you think about it we will go and chop a yeah, melee over chop. the weekend people chop and we complain your 1 million mm. is divided into 4 months mm -hmm. because they by the school by the school that's how they do chibaru they have to kubala like that mm. Mm -hmm. so they divide it by 4 when they divide it by four, each you divide your school fees by those four. And then remember, there's, there are two teachers who have families. Like any other business, everybody who you employ has a what? Has a family. And most teachers are in this for their passion. Like their heart is in this thing. It's they not like actually they can, like, they they really like, what, like to, yeah. yes. They, it's not like they can wake up and decide, no, now I want to go and be a receptionist here. Now I want to go and do banking here. Now I've decided, no, they enter the teaching profession to be. And most of them are full time at the school. Thank anyway. you very much. To be in a teaching profession, they have to upgrade themselves. Mm. You understand? They are not just there, just like any, any profession in this world. You have to upgrade yourself. You have to be better. Mm. You have to become better at what you're already doing. And things are changing. Right. You understand? Right. Every evening, I don't know if any of you has ever taken the time to sit down after school has ended at 12.30. With, with your teachers? With your teachers. With, your, with the with teachers? With the school. Or? With the uh, school. Uh -huh. And you see what your teachers do. First of all, they come and they first divide all of your children by three. They divide the children who are first learners. The ones who are average, and then those ones who are mid, who are low, slow learners. Mm. They said now for the first learners, because they've already learned what they're supposed to learn. Meanwhile, they're all in the same class because they've already learned what they're supposed to learn. What should we do to to in, to keep them up to keep them up while they are waiting active, for everyone? Yes, active, but also to challenge them a bit more. So because your child is different from the one who came for me last year, it means that I have to do a different. Um, program for your first learner just because they are what they are yeah, so it's not for cedar bus no if not I have to be not the more. same yes hey, it's not they like know. how we grew up it's not how we grew up that whether uh, uh, they were studying <laughs> faster than others I tell Manuela you are one yes but you see even my teachers would still call me in private mm. and say now you go and read this extra either they want you to read the topic deeper so mm -hmm. that you're more conversant with that too. Because they're like, if you're good, why should we stop you? Yeah. Then there's the average learner who will go with the usual learners. Then there's the slow learner mm. who they have to even add in a bit more. Mm. Because then they are too what? They are too slow. And you're dealing with all that. Now, most teachers, school. again, they are very passionate about their work. Yeah. They don't want their children to be slow. I don't know how, what it is about this teaching profession, but you want your children to do it. It's like they are your own yeah. children. You're really vested in these children. So that is what they are doing with your child. After At 12, 30 after you've gone, they are still writing lessons for your child for, for the tomorrow. Next day. Okay. Yeah, so no. they are like tellers. They are bank tellers. They are balancing. They are balancing. Bank but closes at 4, the bank teller gets out at 5 p.m. Yes. I, I mean at, uh, 8 at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. I just wanted to say that doing? for all uh, wives whose husbands are tailors. Wow. Yeah. To to what to go la? Bab tailors, bab wa kola nga bab. Oh my God, Brad. Bab wa tailor, bab wa kola. Oh my God, Brad, you're so sweet. Bab ta kola bidala, bab wa kola mu bank. You're so silly. And all male bank tailors say. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, but also apart from that brand, this is a business. You have operating expenses. Electricity, water, Electricity. salaries. Have, they don't, our children, let me tell you about children, especially like now children, they come, the same way they destroy things at your home. They destroy. It's the same way they come and destroy things at the school. They even destroy They are the ones who are school. painting, they are, uh -huh. they are the ones who are drawing on the wall, they are putting poop on the wall, they are just testing, they, they are doing all those discoveries. Yes. Mr. Mulondo, these are the things we see as teachers. 
they are breaking this, you find a child jumping on a desk to see if it will break. Now, you in your home, when you have your one child, you are like this running mad. Oh my God, they've destroyed everything. They've destroyed. You think at the school they are doing what? They are holding right. it like this? So there's also in that money, there there's could be some emotional yes. also. Just solace. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That ultimately, a school is a business. Okay. They have operating expenses, they have salaries, they have utilities, water, electricity, they have rubbish, they have sewerage and copper. They have all of those same expenses that any business in a anywhere around the world has. Goes okay. If you have a problem with the school fees, however, there's things like government school. Hey. Gov yes, no, government. Okay, okay, we no. want the best for our children. No, Brian, you can't want to have your cake and eat it too. Mm. Government will pay for things like that. Okay. You understand? They will pay for the business side of education so that you get the education relatively free. But as long as you come to a private school, the private school has not come, like they would like to. So what I can do as a parent is to at least find ways to with the school to pay in a in a installments so I can complete the command. But they already do. You don't know what parents do to us in schools. They come, they say I'm going to pay in installments. Mm. They come, they bring the child. After one month, they take out the child. Then you never hear from them again. They've gone to another school, and a child does an entire term. In a different paying, school. In different schools. Wow. Or in each term. Then the parent comes and says, I'm going to go. Continue, That's unstable. It's, it's very unstable. And then, meanwhile, imagine you ha you had, you had were running a business, Brian. And in your business, people come and pay you in installments. The parents who are paying in, uh, uh, school fees and complaining about school fees, some of them run businesses where they don't allow installments. Yeah. The in fact, one. they put signposts there. Mr. No. Mr. Credit is on leave. <laughs> One wabi da wo Mr. Cash. No gaba nag. Yes. Order with cash. Order with cash. Management. <laughs> so I I truly believe. Makes that, sense. Yes. Even when they're receiving salaries, they want it in what? In full. They'll go and chop money. Like I said, they say the school fees. All arms go up. People people's arms go up. Right. right. All right. So yeah. tell us, guys. Uh, talk to us and tell us what do you think about the school fee situation and if your teachers or school owners would honestly want to hear from you because as parents we want the best for our children but at the same time we shouldn't break the bank educating people uh, because yeah it is education it should be uh, a right and I, I want to remind you no like you guys not because I'm actually a school owner but you guys, the credo is dope. <laughs> the credo is dope. If you've never heard of something called the STEAM curriculum, yo, I, I was seeing a picture of, of I think, um, how the old children. was that baby? A two-year-old learning about how lungs work. Yeah. I certainly never studied that when I was two years. No, I saw a microscope. I first saw a microscope. I in swear to God. School. In secondary school, <laughs> when we went for Auntie Nanto, what are you saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I at IHK. Yeah. For real. That's when I first saw a microscope and that's because I was a celeb so I kind of bullied my way into the lab and I was like oh my god French, 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 Kazungu and the guy showed me the work he does Yeah. but yeah. At, but there's thousands of us like that Yeah. and so check out the cradle Buwate campus is open it's opposite Green Hill Academy uh, close to Shell uh, before you reach Bobby Wine's home <laughs> But it's on that road connecting Chira and and uh, Kasangat. Please check it out, and I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Yeah. It is one of the best curriculums I have ever it seen. And if I had a, a kindergarten school, you know, child, I would take my child there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely.